So in this video guys, I'm going to show you exactly how you do this cutout animation, whether it's on TikTok, Instagram Reels, or you want to see that, I'll do it on YouTube. I'm going to show you exactly and show you the easiest and fastest way of how you do this in Adobe Premiere. So let's get into it. What up? My name is Peter from Broke Vision Collective and I help you become a better content creator. To understand what this is, you need to understand a little bit of theory. So what that collage cutout animation is, is different masks being overlaid into the next clip. So if I just mask myself out here, and then I show you a little bit of teaser of the next clip, that's where you start to get that collage. And all that is, is if you're familiar with Photoshop, you're putting layers on top of layers. So easiest way to do that, jump into Photoshop, click the auto mask tool and start masking out your subjects or the background, whatever layer it is that you want to appear first for the viewer, whether that's TikTok or Instagram. Next is you want to have a little go back into Adobe Premiere and you take all those layers that you just created and you start implementing them piece by piece on top of each other. So I'm going to jump into Premiere Pro and show you that. But first, like I already said, go into Photoshop and start layering away whatever it is you want to mask out. Isolate those masks and making sure you have the original files as well so you can start creating this cutout effect. And once you have all those layers and masks, that's when you drag all those into Premiere Pro and you can start creating your own little cutout animation. Open up Photoshop and what you want to do is put in your photo that you're going to create these multiple mass layers whether you want to select this light here whether you want to select just the background or your subject and then what you want to do is you want to go into select and click on subject photoshop will automatically detect the subject and create a mask for you which is why it is so easy to do this effect within photoshop Control paste bam there you have your mask so here is a lovely photo of myself, and instead of me being masked first, I'm actually going to mask out myself. So what I need to do is select and go to subject, and I'm going to deselect this. Select and mask. And then what I'm going to do is, because Photoshop just detected where I was, I'm going to delete myself. Click delete. So I'm going to have the background come in first and then me, if that makes sense. So what you wanna do is you wanna create your first sequence. So since you're creating this for a vertical format video, so what you do is go into custom, making sure my frame size is its height 1080 by 1920. And you can see right here, nine by 16, click okay. So what you wanna do is making sure this is, you have all of your mask and your photos and videos that you're going to use. Which line in the beginning, I talked about a little bit of a theory because you can understand the foundation of what's actually going on. So I have this lovely photo right here. And then what I'm going to do is see this for default, let's say uh, two seconds, right? Then I'm going to have a mask of me pop up right here. lovely have that drop down right here and then i'm going to have me underneath with the background layer so as you can see because the photo is so large what you want to do is i'm just going to copy and paste the settings from this guy to this one making sure both is set to frame size so i'm going to just copy here copy the settings in here Make this a little bigger, 49.6, okay. And as you can see, I'm just gonna do a little magic here. Boom, boom. And that is the little cutout animation effect in a nutshell. You're masking out your layers and you can also play around with this, right? Let's say I want to take out the background. So instead of me showing you the plane first, I show you the plane at the very end. So I have this portrait of me right here. As you can see what I'm doing is this is the first layer. And then I'm actually going to remove myself like that and introduce the plane. So I'm going me, getting rid of me, 
getting rid of me, and then getting rid of me completely and going to this clip, all right? So as you can see, background goes into this, goes into this, and then I introduce a new character right here. Set to frame size. Make this a little bigger here. Drag in my second background layer without the mask. Right click this, set to frame size. I'm just gonna copy these settings. Click here, copy paste, copy paste. As you can see, background club this. As you can see, that is the basics of this cut out animation. And it can get a little complicated because you can start zooming in, creating key set frames and key frame sizes and all that. But this is the basics of how you do the cutout animation. All you need to understand is all it is is you're doing a bunch of mask and showing whoever's watching the video the first mask to the back. And it's just a lot of J and L cuts essentially with just the visuals. Bam, bam. And then you can play around with it and you can add like a matte layer to make this a little bit more grungy or different textures to it. But as you guys say, this is just the prototype to show you guys what exactly is behind the scenes of this cutout animation. Pretty simple. And you don't necessarily have to go into Photoshop to actually have all of these layers. What you can do is there's a lot of easy websites that you can use that automatically take out and create your own mask. And then once you have your mask layered, all you need to do is rearrange them in Premiere Pro so they become almost like a video sequence and it's just that cutout animation. And I hope that was able to help you so you too can also create your own little cutout animations and have a little fun and creativity with this. And you can also do this within Premiere Pro with videos as well. But I was able to help you show you the very quick and easy way to do this simple cutout animation. <music>that guys that was how you create that cutout animation super the easiest way that i know there are other ways where you can manually mask that in premiere pro and if it's a video yeah you can do that effect but we're all about working smarter and harder and faster on this channel do things because you know who wants to manually mask out export frames manually step by step on premiere pro photoshop jump back into Premiere. That's the workflow that I work from and I prefer. If you guys have any faster methods, let me know in the comments below. And you're watching Broke Vision and Collective where I help you become a better content creator because we also learn nothing, but you can always create something. Like I said, all my description, you check out you know, Adobe Creative Cloud. You can get serious about editing. You want to make your first thousand dollars with video and content creation. Link in the description below. My name's Peter. See y'all in the next one.